Welcome to lesson three of Machine Sewing for Beginners. In this lesson, you will be practicing pivot turns, which are used to sew sharp corners, like the corner of a pillow or a back pocket on a pair of jeans. To practice this, you will need an unthreaded sewing machine and several copies of the lesson three paper practice sheet. The practice sheets for this series can be purchased and downloaded online from the Calico Jam shop, or you can make your own. For a link to the shop, please see the video description. We will continue our sewing practice without thread to prevent the possibility of jamming the machine. Remember the three tips to avoid this problem and practice them while you complete this lesson. Only turn the hand wheel so the top of the wheel is moving toward you. Before removing your project from the sewing machine, make sure your thread take-up lever is at the top. Remember, if it is anywhere else, it is still working on a stitch. And be sure you have fabric, or in this case paper, underneath and the presser foot down before you sew. Place the Lesson 3 practice paper under the presser foot and turn the hand wheel toward you to put the needle down into the black dot in the upper left corner of the design. Lower your presser foot and press gently on the foot pedal to begin sewing forward on the line across the top. When you get close to the first corner, take your foot off of the foot pedal and turn the hand wheel toward you to complete the next few stitches by hand until the needle goes down into the first corner. Leaving the needle down in the paper, lift the presser foot up. Now rotate the paper to make the turn. It is very important that the needle is down in the paper before lifting the presser foot up so the paper doesn't slide around while you are turning it. Put your presser foot back down and sew forward until you approach the next corner. Take your foot off of the foot pedal and turn the hand wheel toward you for the next few stitches until the needle goes down into the next corner. Leaving the needle down in the paper, lift the presser foot up and rotate the paper to make the turn. Put your presser foot back down and sew forward again, repeating the process at each corner. If you sew too far and overshoot the corner, backstitch using your reverse lever as you learned in the second lesson and try the corner again. It is okay if you do not get the needle exactly in the corner as long as it is close. Sometimes you may be a little ahead of the corner, but if you take another stitch, you will be a bit after it. As long as you are within a half of a stitch length of the corner, it is fine. Keep practicing until you are able to complete one sheet of proper pivot turns without overshooting the corners or moving the paper around with the needle out of the paper. A good pivot turn should look like this, where the holes are evenly spaced, with one hole being in the very corner of the turn. If you are in a class, be sure to put your name on your best paper and turn it into your instructor. Then join me next time for lesson four, Sewing Curves.